okay good afternoon let's start uh, we have done master typing uh, in the last class so that was the last session that we have covered up so today we'll start up with a new topic uh, although the subjective part of the book is all over now uh, we are left with only employability skill portion and uh, employability skills uh, are basically it will carry up uh, uh, 10 marks in your final exams so most of the things which uh, are there uh, are not related to computers basically this this is all uh, about what you can do or what all things you should incorporate in your life so that uh, you can get better employment opportunities in future right so usme five uh, units are there out of these five units um, one unit is all about ict skills so usme word excel powerpoint hai jo that we have already covered up right and the rest four units will talk about and uh, it's all about uh, your uh, how do you manage your communication skills how do you manage your uh, uh, personal skills right and how do you go for green skills green skills means environmental skills so uh, we'll talk about all these things one by one i'll just move on to the book first of all uh so the very first part of uh, this uh, topic is communication skills uh before we go into the uh, communication skills there's brief introduction about what are employability skills now in today's world we have uh, countless institutes right coming up and all looking of uh, out for uh, we all are looking out for ideal good job after our studies are over and uh, the thing is that what are the organizations looking for today as they hire people so what all things they need to hire a, a employee in, into the into the into the organization the answer is very simple that everybody in on uh, the lookout for the general good general job skills however uh, there are certain employability skills the person should be good at usko soft skills bhi bolte hain right so not only academics we need a, a person who is also equipped with soft skills right employability skills so this if you have such such kind of skills you are reliable then you have you are keen to learn then uh, you are uh, dependable also and you can be trusted so these are all important and crucial things you must learn along with the studies right so we'll try to learn all those things here now employability skills will cover up these five different areas communication skills self management skills basic ict skills entrepreneur skills and green skills right so communication may self management ict is all that we have covered so we'll not touch this unit uh, this unit is all uh, done i'll just go through it once uh, the important points in this then uh, entrepreneurial skills and green skills will cover up so we'll start with communication skills first uh, the skills are by far the most <clears throat> basic and most important skill right english word communicate finds its origin from the latin word communis and communis and communicare which means sharing right common or sharing and uh, communicare means to make something common right so that means you communication is exchange of information or thoughts between two or more people right and uh, to bring about mutual understanding so that people can understand each other so communication ka matlab hai information thoughts ko exchange karna do ya do se zyada logo mein so that people can understand each other in communication we have these are the features of communication two or more people are involved all, all, uh, every time communication cannot happen with one person right it is a two way process two way process means the person who is communicating to second person the second person will also respond back to the first person dono taraf messages hote hain a sender sends a message to the receiver and receiver 
understand the message and acknowledge it by sending a message again to the sender right so it always in involves a systematic continuous process for telling listening understanding so it is a dynamic process dynamic matlab jo real time hai right so which keeps on developing and growing dynamic ka matlab hai jo jo develop hota rehta hai wo chalta rehta hai grow karta rehta hai right it involves exchange of ideas facts opinions gestures emotions and actions so the person they can express they can exchange their ideas what are what all opinions they have right so ideas and opinion can be given in written form also it can be given in readable form or you speak something or uh, we always we can also use gestures and emotions right gestures emotions involve uh, your um, face reading right uh, or like in whatsapp we use emojis ठीक है हैप्पी फेस सैड फेस एंग्री फेस सो ये इमोशंस को एक्सप्रेस करने के तरीके हैं दैट कैन आल्सो बी यूज्ड इन कम्युनिकेशन राइट अ कम्युनिकेशन मे बी वेल थॉट ऑफ मींस इट इज इंटेंशनल और अनइंटेंशनल इंटेंशनल मींस वे यू नो दैट यू आर गोइंग टू टॉक टू समबडी और यू नो दैट यू आर गोइंग टू कम्युनिकेट टू समबडी unintentional means when somebody uh, all of a sudden comes to you and uh, ask you something that is unintentional like intentional matlab aap soch ke baithe ho ki aapko karna hai ye communication or unintentional when you are not uh, sure ki communication hogi nahi hogi uh, suddenly it starts it always involves a systematic chain of events for example if the medium of communication is telephone so where Uh, to develop a snag communication should be effective so we the process is there we have to follow one process if you want to talk to somebody on phone then there's a process first of all you you will uh, connect then uh, you will uh, greet somebody if you are talking to whom to you are talking to you will ask them how are you they how are they and how are you and then you start building up the main point right and at the end you always give a thank all if you are satisfied right why it is required communication ki importance kya hai it builds the bonds bonds means relationship between people right the, it's a stronger it the foundation strong foundation for relationship it uh, builds knowledge people when they communicate with each other their ideas and ex, uh, information has been exchanged and knowledge is exchanged so you'll go gain knowledge from that also it is stress reliever sometimes a person is fully stressed and if he communicate with somebody talks about certain problems he'll get a solution for that from that person so situations can happen such kind of situation can come so usse aapka stress remove hota hai jab aap baat karte ho kisi se right it is also an effective coordinating tool uh, coordinating means where you want uh, somebody to work in some particular way right so कोऑर्डिनेशन में होता है कि वही बात है कि सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस अगर आपको किसी का इंक्रीज करना है देन द कम्युनिकेशन बूट्स बूस्ट द सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस राइट इट हेल्प्स यू इन योर वर्कप्लेस राइट वर्कप्लेस मीन्स वेर एवर यू वर्क so if you can express your ideas you can explain about your work properly then your colleagues will be happier they will be um, they will understand you properly right so because in uh, one organization if wherever you are working let's say i am working in a firm let's say to us firm ke andar jitne bhi colleagues hain colleagues mein kya aate hain seniors bhi aate hain juniors bhi aate hain aur peers bhi aate hain ठीक है तो इफ यू आर गुड एट कम्युनिकेशन सो दैट विल इम्प्रूव योर रिलेशनशिप विद ऑल अदर पीपल देयर राइट एंड दे विल इजीली अंडरस्टैंड वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू सेट्स इट हेल्प दर्गेनाइजेशन ऑल्सो सो एट सीनियर लेवल्स द कम्युनिकेशन पार्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इट हेल्प्स टू 
manage, control, and guide your team in a proper way. It's very important the lead leadership quality. So, as for a leader, leader means the head of certain organization, head of certain um, company or so. So that uh, <clears throat> if you are good in communication, then you can easily um, pass on the instructions and information to the junior levels. Then what are the key elements of communication? Elements मतलब क्या क्या चीजें involved होती हैं? Communication being two way, we have a sender there who sends the information to the receiver, right? We have another process called as encoding. Encoding is a process by which the sender translates the idea to be conveyed into a message that can be easily understood by the receiver, right? Like if you are talking to somebody who is not knowing your language, right? In that case, so whatever you said, whatever you whatever you want to say, so that message will be converted into a form so that the send uh, the receiver person can understand the things. So that conversion is called as encoding, right? And then we need a message which contains all the information that is to be conveyed. And uh, the message can be uh, in verbal form or in non-verbal form. As I told, the verbal is whatever you write or whatever you speak. Or non-verbal may have eye contact, aate hai, gestures, aate hai, facial expressions. Aate hai. Okay? Then we need a communication channel through which uh, the communication takes place. For example, uh, in oral communication, we need... Uh, uh, at phone, like a telephone, if you're talking to somebody on mobile phone, so mobile phone is your channel, right? Or you're sending an email or a message, then your email or these services are the channel. The internet is the channel between the two places, right? Two people. Or if you're talking about video conferencing, like what we are doing right now, so their video conferencing platform is the channel here, communication channel, right? And uh, we have a receiver who receives the message and understands it, right? Again, uh, before understanding, before receiving it, the message is whichever is received by the receiver, it is converted again into a form that the receiver can understand. So again, decoding is to be done, the process by which receiver converts the meaning of the message into a readable form is called as decoding. And then finally, jo receiver hai, wo kuch na kuch response generate karta hai. And that response is again sent back to the person who has sent the message, right? So this is the whole communication cycle. Sender, after doing encoding, sends the message through a channel to the receiver. Receiver receives a message, decode it, right? And understand it. After understanding, receiver sends a feedback back to the sender. This is the whole communication process. Right? Next is method. How do we communicate with others? There are three basic methods of communication. Verbal, non-verbal and visual. Right? Now, What are the things we should consider? What are the factors we should consider while choosing which method to be used? Now, nature of message, if it is very urgent, it is very confidential, it's important, right? And that importance should be identified and it should be separate from the routine kind of sending, right? So, If the message is one that is to be recorded, preserved for the future, method of communication must necessarily be a written one. So, when we record it, we have to record it. So, we have to written message. Jo hai, uska, usko prefer karte. Cost of communication also affects, right? So, it depends if you have cost effective communication, karni hai, you want less cost then um, 
we have to choose the type of communication based on that right distance also matters sender receiver ke beech mein distance bahut zyada hai to aapka jo verbal communication hai that is not possible right uh, it is possible with the help of phone and all but uh, uh, we always uh, it depends upon the situation the distance how much distance is there for a longer distance we prefer uh, phone calls or we can go with the video conferencing tool that comes in the vis visual communication right size of the organization also matters so if you talk about a smaller organization where the number of people are less they, they are uh, a different kind of uh, communication type can be used whereas if you talk about a bigger organization which uh, has more number of people involved to wahan pe communication rak karne ka jo tarika hai that will be different right technology support also in some areas if you find uh, the technology is not so uh, supportive right so so technology is also plays an important part jahan pe aapko technology ईजीली अवेलेबल है और लो कॉस्ट अवेलेबल है देयर वी कैन यूज अ बेटर टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर बेटर कम्युनिकेशन बट देर मे बी सम एरियाज वहाँ पर जो टेक्नोलॉजी है इट इज नॉट सो एडवांस्ड सो वहाँ पर हम लोग जो मैं टाइप ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन है डिफरेंट रखते हैं राइट like for example a sender is sending a email let's say and the receiver does not has a computer so it will not be or he or she will not be able to receive the message so that's the important thing technology support is to be checked secrecy urgency this we have talked about uh, earlier also if the message is urgent if the message is of serious a uh, secret nature we will always prefer a safer method of communication right and uh, in that case if you want to go for certain uh, secrecy or urgency then we'll prefer we don't bother the cost you can send a message at a higher cost also but the important thing is your message must be secure then we talk about uh, relationship between uh, sender and receiver if both the person they are friend right they are friends they are relatives then we use a different kind of uh, method and if it is a professional message where you, where employee is sending a message to the boss so there we'll prefer a different kind of communication so the, the communication method can be different right अब हम बात करते हैं वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन क्या है वर्बल विच यू टी यूज वर्ड्स राइट एंड इट इज क्वाइट पावरफुल एंड एक्यूरेट टूल फॉर एक्सप्रेशन सो हेयर द सेंडर गिव्स द वॉइस टू द थॉट्स सो जो भी इंफॉर्मेशन opinions ideas dene hai they are given in the form of words which a person can speak like giving a speech or giving a normal conversation having a normal conversation or giving a presentation to somebody right verbal mein dono tarike aate hain oral bhi aur written bhi oral communication where everything is done while speaking right spoken words are used as a medium isme face to face conversation aa gaya telephonic conversation aa gaya video conferencing aa gaya right or uh, discussion and presentation is the part of this kind of oral communication what make oral communication effective oral communication effective kaise hoga choice of words you must choose words carefully and appropriately so that there is no room of ambiguity in interpretation by the receiver so the words that you choose while talking should be clear and they should be accurate 
nothing should be left to misinterpret there shouldn't be anything which can lead to uh, misinterpretation by the receiver right so you the word you should choose should be good so isse aapki communication effective banegi clarity of speech is important so the words that you pronounce because you're speaking here the words that you pronounce should be correct and uh, speed of pronouncing word should also be good it should be accurate right should not be too speedy or should not be too slow so grammar should be good spoken should be right right then volume and pitch of voice uh, as i told speak loud enough to be heard and it should sound confident right and it should not uh, the speech should also be uh, soft enough to not appear dominating so you should speak clear speak louder but not too loud that you uh, other person may feel that you are dominating right so the person who is uh, talking to you communicating to you should be comfortable with your voice <clears throat> fluency of speech uh, in order to attract and hold the receiver's attention you must please speak fluently right fluently means without breaks continuous breaks in the conversation will leave the listener distracted and uninterested right so whenever we speaks to somebody uh, it should be continuous speech it should not break in between right length of the conversation is also uh, matters it should be just long enough to convey the message it should not be a full uh, long uh, message right you should concentrate on the important points because beating about the bush leads to boredom beating about the bush means कि भाई आप मेन पॉइंट पे बात नहीं कर रहे हो इधर उधर की बातें कर रहे हो सो दैट इज अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेन एवर यू टॉक टू समबडी शुड बी टू द पॉइंट राइट नाउ विल टॉक अबाउट व्हाट आर द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ और ओरल कम्युनिकेशन फर्स्ट इज टाइम सेविंग राइट क्योंकि व्हेन यू आर टॉकिंग टू समबडी इन फ्रंट ऑफ हिम और ऑन फोन देन immediate decisions can be taken right so less time is required it is cost effective so if you are talking to people within one organization and it is a oral kind of communication no cost is required right and it is always powerful and effective way of conveying messages and the more over you'll get immediate feedback receiver jaise hi aapse baat karke aapki point sunega saath ke saath aapko reply kar dega so the immediate feedback will be received then uh, by sitting and talking across a table definitely help build up relationship between the two people right the relationship between the people will be that can be built private and confidential messages are the best communicated orally now if you want to give some important information which is confidential which should not go to others so the best way is to go with oral communication because if you go with written and if written matter goes to somebody else your the privacy will be gone then it uh, is always fl uh, flexible now in oral communication you can change correct the things the ideas that you have ex after exchanging right so we don't need a formal kind of change we don't have to write everything and again send it so if you want to change well just by saying you can change when we talk about disadvantages of oral communication there is no record there is no legality right so um, although on phone there is an option to record also but when you are talking to somebody in uh, face to face 
then uh, there is no record of that particular thing but when you write certain message and send those or written message aapka record ban jata hai theek hai to oral message mein koi legal point nahi hai right then miscommunication can happen there are chances that uh, sometimes the facial expressions the gestures are misunderstood right uh, if some person is uh, conveying you somebody something and uh, the con way of conversation um, most of the things can be read from the face only right to whom you are talking so that may lead to miscommunication sometimes and uh, in uh, oral communication we don't prefer long messages we are always uh, short and to the point it's not suitable for long messages and sometimes uh, the speed and accent if it is not good as for the receiver so that may lead to uh, the person the receiver will not be able to understand uh, the problem or if you even if you are talking on phone and the phone is having certain disturbance certain network issues so there also the communication cannot take place effectively right so this is the first part second part is written communication where the messages are sent in the written form and it is a, a formal means of communication for example selling e sending email fax letter notices and contracts etc right when we prefer written communication when there is no time bound messages we don't have time bound messages that we have to give reply within a uh, given uh, speculated time and whenever we need to maintain the record because as, as we just discussed that oral mein koi bhi record maintain nahi hota written mein record maintain ho jata so that we can have future reference and when the receivers are scattered at different places तो so, अलग अलग जगह पे बहुत सारे लोग हैं सबको कम्युनिकेट करना है तो ओरल कम्युनिकेशन विल बी डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज आइदर यू हैव टू कॉल एवरीबडी और यू पीपल हैव टू मीट इट ईच एंड एवरीबडी टू पास ऑन द इंफॉर्मेशन बट वी हैव रिटर्न इफ यू प्रेफर रिटर्न राइट अ काइंड ऑफ ई मेल और काइंड ऑफ लेटर एंड यू कैन सेंड द कॉपी टू ईच एंड एवरी वन राइट <clears throat> various peoples are to receive copies of the message that is also the same and moreover if the content of the message is lengthy if you want to send too many points so oral mein kya hoga ki aadhi cheeze jo hai ho sakta hai wo person jo hai receiver jo hai miss kar jaye right so in that case we always prefer uh, written kind of message right wherever we need to have a detailed explanation we prefer written message advantages complex matters can be explained easily permanent records can be maintained there is no scope of misinterpretation so everything is written on the paper misunderstood nahi ho sakta right uh, delegation of authority means communication regarding the delegation of authority can be communicated only in the written form right because oral communication has no validity there is no validity and uh, here we have uh, the delegation of authority that the, the message has been sent or it is received by the receiver disadvantage is it is time consuming because we have to write a message then we have to send it so that communication process also takes time and moreover it also takes time to write a message uh, and then send it storage space is required if you want to maintain copies of all the communication um, taking place for future reference then you need a space to store all these written communications like even if you sending a mail so that mail has to be stored in the inbox from and which occupies certain space in the memory right in the computer memory and uh, and if you are sending a written kind of message hand written kind of message and such if you and if you want to store them then you can 
store it but uh, again you need some storage space for storing such messages and uh, they are not flexible when the messages are prepared for many recipients alterations in some would be expensive or cumbersome right like if you want to send a letter to 10 people and they tell on you realize that i have to change one line in that and you have to change one line each and every letter right so that is also one problem confidentiality is not there right so that a written message can be accessed by many so that leads to a lack of confidentiality and it always requires cost and manpower because we need to write certain things we need a um, notepad to write we need a pen to write so material is required right and we need a manpower also like uh, somebody should be there to write that message in this and if you are even if you are posting it through physical letters then it has to go to post office from there a person is required who can transfer that letters to the destination place fine so these are some kind of uh, verbal communications then non verbal communication that's the second criteria there is a uh, where <clears throat> It involves communicating without using words written or oral. It involves non-linguistic transmission of it, where language is not used, right? A non-verbal communication should be used to add on to the verbal communication. They are not generally used for communicating a complete message they just keep add on with the the message right for example facial expressions gestures eye contacts pointing with the finger pitch and tone of voice are the things which comes under this category right method of non verbal communication pehla hai facial expression uh, one tend to notice the expressions on the speaker's face before listening to him. So whenever a speaker is about to say something, we can make out ke what type of things uh, can be said by that person. If the speaker face expression is like an uh, angry man, then you must be aware that we be ye to daantne wala hai, right? So. So this is one important uh, method of non-verbal communication. Various spoken uh, languages spoken, there are various uh, languages spoken across the globe, a sad face, a happy face are all similar and we can easily understand that, right? Then gestures can be used visible bodily actions communicate particular messages as you can see in this figure here given uh, with the help of two fingers the person is about to communicate to the lady the shop owner to give two items right so this also adds up to your speech these kind of actions are called as gestures like you are pointing fingers you are waving to somebody or any um, move your body part right so for example while talking to somebody if you keep on t watching your uh, if you keep on looking at your watch this means you are bored with the things that are being conveyed so that you are not interested to send it right similarly body language and the posture this way you sit the way you speak where you stand is also uh, comes under non-verbal communication right so it just show the attitude of the person to whom you are talking to paralinguistics it, it refers to the communication a verbal communication that does not involve language but other factors like tone pitch of voice is there 
some sentences can be interpreted directly depending on the tone of voice in which it is said so if your uh, tone of voice is higher than the normal then you may get an idea that the person is not happy he is angry right and if the tone is lower the voice tone is lower then you can may feel that the person is either tired or uh, is not happy to send the message eye gaze is also important i speak volumes if a person see something they like a rate of blinking is bound to increase right uh, so maintain eye contact when you speak right it takes for honesty then is pro uh, pro exemix the steels with the study of space uh, thought appropriate to be maintained while communicating with person distance between person also speaks a lot of thing but uh, it will be based on the cultural backgrounds social upbringing familiarity with the person if you are like if you are uh, Uh, talking to your friend or a family member you always have uh, you stand close to them right and if you are talking to some professional person like being a student you are talking to a teacher or the principal you always tend to stand at a distance right so ye jo uh, space between the two communicator also plays an important part dress and appearance is again, again one more uh, factor <clears throat> way of dress and your appearance based on the choice of your uh, color or hairstyle can send out some strong messages right for example if you go for an interview you dress nicely if, in a formal way right and when you go going for a party your dress is informal right we don't uh, wear uh, formal dresses there in the party right then haptics is a part of non verbal communication that convey meaning through physical contacts as you can see in this figure touch can be used to show sympathy 